More than 50 years ago, the people of St. Timothy Parish gathered and had a vision for what they could be. They formed a parish, they gathered as a community, they created a life together that was of worship of God. Their first mission was to create a school. Because Mrs. Peg Will said yes to the first pastor, the community was able to rally together and to create a school that has now lasted for more than 50 years. We have recently celebrated the Golden Jubilee of the parish and of the school, and everyone has remembered the hard work and commitment of those who came before us, many of whom are still with us. We're at a whole new time in the life of St. Timothy Parish. God is calling us to follow the Good Shepherd to see a new vision, a vision that continues the journey we began more than 50 years ago, a vision that's going to open us to a greater way of understanding and living our faith, especially with our children from six months all the way through high school, and then with adults all the way until God calls them home. About 15 years ago, everything west of the St. Timothy School cafeteria was not there. The door in the back of the kitchen led to the outside. In that location, there were no school offices, no nurse's office, no library, no computer lab, no gymnasium, no concession stand, no middle school classrooms, no science lab, no music room. But then members of the parish with Pastor Thomas Schoenbarger had a vision, a vision they acted upon. They came together in the name of Christ and made their vision become a reality. Granted, it didn't come easy, but they persevered through the process. In the end, the community ended up with something much greater than anyone had envisioned. We're now at the same position with the parish's vision for the St. Timothy Good Shepherd Catechetical Center. We're invited to follow the Good Shepherd to greener pastures. Can you hear his invitation? Can you see it? What I'd like to do is talk to you about the proposed catechetical center, um, why we need it, and who it's for. The Catechesis of the Good Shepherd is a religious formation program begun by Sofia Cavallari 60 years ago in Italy. It is the religious arm of the Montessori method of education. We bring children in as young as three years old. Our age room one is for children three to six years old. Age room two is for children six to nine years old. And age room three is for children nine through 12 years old. All the materials within the age room are hands-on. All of the materials are child size, appropriate to each age of the child. The catechist shares presentations with the children focused on liturgy, focused on scripture, on the sacraments and on the mass in particular. The children then work with the materials and grow in a relationship to God and to the church through these. One of the significant benefits that the church has seen through this program is a greater participation and investment in the mass and in the sacraments by children as young as three years old. We must carry love
it really helps me know that I have some place to be supported and where I can share my faith freely with others. And um, I know that they feel the same way that I do. And it's also really helpful for me because um, I get to mentor younger kids. I really want to be a teacher. So I think it's really wonderful that I have the chance to um, mentor these kids in their faith and mentor them and teach them about the faith. Um, which is really just something that's very important to me. I think it's very important that we have a catechetical center because it would help plant the seeds of vocations and of spirituality in younger kids. Um, going through the Catechist of the Shepherd program and the PSR, you know, I've been able to teach kids and having a center that's dedicated specifically to teaching kids about their faith would help them to discern their call more fully and be able to interpret um, God's call and be able to uh, use the resources that we have to um, integrate God into their life. I work with college students every day, and it's said that 85% of students stop practicing their Catholic faith while they're in college. And this is a huge problem for the future of the church. And so we have to ask ourselves, why are they leaving? I truly believe that it's because they've never had a profound encounter with Jesus Christ before. And so at a parish level, we have to provide a platform, such as Revolution Youth, and the space they need to grow and to thrive, to have that encounter with Christ. So that by the time that they are in college, they're already committed disciples of our Lord. Recent popes have talked about this new evangelization, and especially Pope Francis. He's been kind of uh, not only a spokesman for it, but he's lived it. And people ask, what is it? You know, it's not like we're preaching a new message. It's still Jesus Christ died for our sins, was raised to new life, and loves each and every one of us and wants us to be in heaven. But what Pope Francis is calling us to is to preach this message in new ways, to go out to people that haven't heard the message before, and to do it with a new, uh, renewed love and joy, to actually want to give a personal call to all people so that they know that Jesus Christ loves them individually. This is what the new evangelization is about, and Pope Francis is a great model for us. things that we're, are downstairs right now were stored in a trailer outside the school. There were two trailers, one for music and one for maintenance and storage. And there was, I think, a little storage shed out there as well. But everything was stored there. Um, since we've moved into the new wing and we have this huge basement, we've somehow accumulated a lot of stuff. I don't know if we need it all or not, but it's down there. But I do know for a fact that there's going to be some place for it all to go when the catechesis of the Good Shepherd moves in. It's, it's, I, it's nothing to be afraid of. It will happen. If, if God wants it there, it's going to happen. And I know that we have a lot of things in mind for where these things are going to be stored. My own science equipment stored downstairs. And that was one of my first thoughts. Oh no, where am I going to put the science equipment that we can't put in the classroom with the kids? We'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. It'll happen. Here at St. Timothy, we are very involved very family-focused, family very friendly, outgoing parish, and it's wonderful. We have a fantastic school, we have a wonderful church community, we have great sports, and now we'd like to have a wonderful catechetical center for religious formation. Hello, we're the Wet family, and we could see a vision. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Whenever the Lord leads us to a new vision, we have to realize there's struggle and difficulty. We pass through the wilderness and the desert, but on the other side there are green pastures. As we acknowledge the struggle and the burden, 
we all also acknowledge our trust in the good shepherd. 